Hey, what's up guys, it's John with GoWesty. Today I'm gonna to walk you through replacing your old worn out skylight assembly. In this video, I use part number GVW255745, which is a complete skylight kit. With your skylight fully open, begin by removing the plastic screw caps with a pair of pliers and the nuts they cover using an eight millimeter socket. Next, remove the center screw holding the knob and the small Phillips head screw at the front of the plastic housing. The knob and plastic housing can now be pulled away, followed by the support bracket. Push up the two remaining screws at the front of the assembly and remove the skylight from the top of the vehicle. Pull off the old seal and pop any remaining hardware out of the top. Once everything is disassembled, be sure to clean your top where the new components will be installed. Begin by installing the new seal first, which presses on to form a mechanical bond and requires no adhesive. Make sure to start and finish in the center of the back of the opening. Trim the seal to length and be sure to place the included rubber dowel in the bulb seal evenly. Moving on to assembling our new skylight, I like to pull the protective paper back just enough to expose the mounting holes and leave the rest on until the end to prevent the skylight from being scratched. Starting with one of the hinges, apply a little silicone to the bottom side of each square opening, place the carriage bolts in the hinge and install it onto the skylight using the washers and nylock nuts provided. Repeat this process for the opposite side and place the covers on the nuts. Moving to the back edge of the skylight, apply a small amount of silicone to the underside shoulder of a carriage bolt and place it in the center hole of the lens. Next, place the guide bar over the bolt with the long openings facing inboard the lens and assemble the center attachment point with a large washer, lock washer, and regular nut. Hold the bolt head tightly and snug this assembly down. Repeat this process at each outside mounting point of the guide bar and push the nut covers on. Moving to the lifting mechanism, assemble the support bracket and flex arm in the orientation shown using two Phillips head screws with a lock washer and a nut on each. Next bolt the plate to the plastic housing using a single small Phillips head screw, washer and nut included. Press the new knob onto the shaft and use the included narrow Phillips head screw to secure it. Moving to the van, place a small amount of silicone around each opening in the pop top as well as around the underside of each shoulder of each carriage bolt. With the skylight laying on its back, insert a carriage bolt into the tab of each hinge and then through the pop top as shown. Move inside the van and place a large washer, lock washer, and nut onto each carriage bolt, securing the lens assembly to the top. Now move to the rear of the skylight opening and apply a small amount of silicone around each of the four holes in the top, followed by the carriage bolts. I like to tilt the flex arm assembly forward and slightly bend each arm into the guide of the lens. Next, raise the assembly into position and onto each of the four bolts coming through the top. Use the remaining washers and nuts to finish securing the flex arm assembly to the top and place nut covers over the exposed nuts. Close your skylight, remove the protective film, and you're all done. <laughs> 